Hi, welcome to today's Products in Focus. So having a look at the US 30, basically FOMC minutes came out last night and it was a little bit more dovish than what many people were thinking, um, saying that some of the macro data was, was pointing in the right direction, but that the global economy and what was happening elsewhere in the world with commodity prices in China was having an impact on the Fed's feelings. Uh, the September rate hike now looks more unlikely, not impossible, but certainly more unlikely. Um, but that's actually caused a quite a, a negative spin on the US therapy, which is kind of interesting because uh, with a later rate hike, some people go, well, that's uh, longer cheap money. Um, but uh, the, the market has taken it to be a little bit negative in regards to the sentiment of the global economy and focus a lot less on um, the impact of a rate rise in the US in regards to people buying the dollar and US equities and everything else because of higher yields. So US 30 now trading below 17,361 with 17,037 being the next potential support. We are firmly away from both uh, moving averages. Really bearish candle from yesterday, finishing quite close to the session lows. Bearish crossover on the MACD and the other technicals are still relatively neutral. Um, looking elsewhere, most other global markets are comfortably down this morning by about uh, three quarters to full percentage point lower. Looking at the UK 100 firmly smashing through uh, 64.15 real uh, negative candle again, breaking out from that symmetrical triangle formation. Sentiment has really turned uh, quite bearish. Next potential support on the UK 100 would probably be down here. That I'm just going to clear this up a little bit, get rid of a lot of these other levels that are no longer really in play where we are right now. Uh, we can probably just, well, we'll keep that one there for now. Um, that gives you a bit of a flavour of where, where we're going. So uh, 62, 69 is a potential support level. Other technicals are uh, looking quite negative. Um, RSI has just gone into oversold territory, but there's not yet a signal to reverse. So moving on to Japan to define. So the dollar yen reversed course last night, then a 123.80 and has slowly tipped back up. The dollar basically lost a lot of momentum. Um, straight after the FOMC minutes uh, and that reversal people buy Japanese yen selling the dollar um, and that's caused a reversal in Japan 25 as well but pretty much bang on a potential support 2087 20,087 but more importantly we had a bounce off this level so we closed bang on the end of the uh, session lows that's usually pretty negative to be honest um, and today we managed to get a modest bounce but since then we've been pushed right back down again and actually we are trading below uh, 20,087 right now. So um, Japan 225 looking pretty ugly if I'm honest and the MACD's just crossed the zero line which would be another negative factor. So having a look at that dollar yen position, uh, bearish engulfing pattern, we're in between two moving averages right now so that's okay. We've had a little bit of a bounce which is decent. Um, so looking at euro dollar, uh, euros firmly control, looking at cable, um, now sterling had a really good run yesterday because we had some de decent data, uh, good inflation data, better than expected data come out of the UK a few days ago uh, and that's that's popped up. But against the uh, dollar yen we had the big reversal um, after uh, the FOMC last night so uh, yen kind of jumped, dollar sold off. But now we're seeing a little bit more bu of uh, buying interest on the US dollar first thing this morning. Um, but it's not exactly a massive rally, it's up you know, 0.15%, uh, so that gives you a bit of an idea. But we're below 124.42, which is potential resistance, and as we speak, it's just ticking down. So um, see how that pans out later on today. Uh, crude got hammered down 4% yesterday. Inventory data way higher than expected. Um, again, global demand fears. FOMC stoked that nicely last night. $35.30 .30 is the longer term potential support. Uh, it's interesting after yesterday's real negative candle closing bang on the end of the range uh, it's just flatlined this morning on the intraday chart it's not really doing a huge amount um, but this this chart does look pretty ugly if I'm completely honest and the fundamentals don't support a strong price hike anytime soon so moving on to gold gold's obviously flavor of the month now had a great day following the FOMC land uh, lower interest rates for longer um, we've broken above 11.37. We seem to be capped by the 55 period SMA. It might just be transitory. If we get a close above 11.37, it might build a nice base there to be able to rechallenge 11.86. Um, but a lot of traders buying gold right now because um, it's got the safe haven aspect, but it's also um, got the inverse relationship to uh, raise, rising US interest rates. So this is perhaps the best signal so far 
uh, as to where traders really feel interest rates in the US are going as in they're saying well it might be December now it could be even later than that based by what we're seeing on gold right now so finishing up with euro dollar and GBP USD so uh, bullish engulfing pattern on euro dollar following FOMC trading above both moving averages trading above one spot 11 followed through a little bit further today but these long longer candles that we've had for all of July and most of August uh, are probably indicative that around about 112 there could be some more selling interest as well probably an oscillation around 111 is not going to be that surprising and finishing up with GBP USD a really grinding higher following better than expected data from the UK but look at these long legged tips right here. It just each time it goes higher, it just get pushed right back down again. So one spot for 743 is a potential support level resistance already to be aware of. Um, it's probably going to grind higher, grind higher, grind higher till we get there. But basically, unless we start getting some more decent US macro data, blah blah blah, one minute everything's all all all. Uh, gravy for a uh, rate hike and the next minute is definitely not so last night's FOMC uh, hasn't killed a rate hike but it has certainly put it firmly in the back foot and when you look at most global equity markets right now it, things are on the back foot very firmly so like number data wise we do have uh, UK retail sales today 9.30 UK time uh, US employment claims um, Philly Fed business data and uh, existing home sales so a, a fair amount of data between half one and three o'clock and then Friday, we've got Chinese PMI, we've got German uh, PMI, you've got Eurozone PMI and public finance data from the UK, finishing up at 3 p.m. UK time with CCI from the Eurozone. So as ever, guys, keep your eyes on the chart forum, make insights part of your layout going forward, and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.